Well, are you on? I don't know. Are we on, y'all? Hey, hey, hey. What do you say, poor boy? We got Pine Knot got over pine here. Pine in here. Overlook uh, Valley and Mimsy, Southern Blessed. Y'all hang on. I'm punching buttons. What did you say I'm supposed to do? Pop out. Yep. I need, uh oh. You oh, popped, there y'all are. You popped it right on out, didn't okay. you? Okay. Let me just say, this is a test in tune. Well, now I can't see myself. Oh, no. So you need to log in and make sure I'm, I'm working on it right now. now. We got Overlook, Mimsy, Southern Blessed, Poor Boy. Well, we got Heaven's Essentials. All right. Now, while he's still working over here doing something, you can hit the volume down. Are we in line? Easy cheesy. We are in line. You sure? Let me yeah, see. we good. Are we are good? Okay. Y'all notice something different? Is that light? Did we get out of the light though, buddy? Y'all notice anything different? Hey, Pete. Yeah, I mean, the light looks good to me. For what no, I'm looking at. I don't see. Ah, all is good. Okay, but do y'all y'all don't see that light up there no more, do y'all? Everybody's saying no glasses. Yep, yeah, y'all figured it out. Well, let me just tell y'all. I tell you what, I'm like an old Model T. Last eight weeks, it's like everything just took a poop and had to go get rebuilt. But I found myself with these readers like all the time and I couldn't see what well, I don't know if some of y'all know some of you may not but about five years ago um I woke up one morning I couldn't see out my left eye well that kind of freaked me out hey Duncan hey Stringfield that freaked me out so off we go to the doctor and he had to repair the cornea and uh the white thing since Y'all probably know I don't. The cynicler or the white thing. One of those. One of those. And I said, well, since you're going to be up in there digging all in my Hello, eyeballs, Andy. Andy's uh, see let's just dead. do the Lasix because, y'all, I was blind. Blind as a bat. So we did the Lasix, and then he still had to go back in and do some more stuff. Well, all was fine until lately. Y'all notice I kept doing this, and I couldn't see, and all that retarded stuff. So I decided to go in last week. Well, something flew in the in the eye, the left eye. At some point, we don't know when, and messed up what he done. So that's why I couldn't see. So today I got to go get. I call it my new eyeball. It's temporary for thirty days, and if it works good, then I'll have a permanent thing put in. But right now, my left eye is seeing far. And my right eye seeing nearsighted. Hello, Mark. Y'all imagine me driving home like that. I was like, Yeah, who oh, would ever who Lord. would ever think anything about temporary eyeballs? I just think it's cool. Like I mean, but y'all see no glasses. I can read. There's a little glare. Hey, I can read. Just gotta fix the glare. Oh, I'm fixing a I'm fixing to tell your name up again, but hello, uh Boaters. Botters. 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 Is this Drew? She Y'all forgive will me. Tear your name Cause up I will. Quickly. Hey Mark. Oh, I got Mark and Sarah up on here. Let's see what y'all say. But that's been my story for the week. I got me a new set of eyes and yeah, aren't you happy for yeah, that? Andy, happy. I, I, I probably have to take her keys. Uh, she was down for a little while with this uh, last surgery and couldn't drive, and it was a uh, it was it was kind of a you know a little bit better assuring. I didn't have to worry about it when I left, you know, getting out there on the highway. But now, hi Ashley, might need to pull the keys again. I got a spare set, y'all. But let me tell you what, I was like. Where my glass? I don't need no glasses. They all up in here now. I feel like a sixteen-year-old. What? Yeah. Give me well, your credit card. Let me go shop. I got a whole lot of stuff you can do. <laughs> credit card. Never heard of it. I know I'm beaming. You know, it just, Mamsie. I mean, I really was like, 
buddy, am I fixing to go back into bifocals? Uh, you know, I can't see nothing. And I was constantly doing this with my glasses. And y'all, this is like a celebration. <laughs> Telling you, I'm getting an overhaul. Overhaul, she said. I figure I'll be good for another three years, five years. Oh, yeah. Got your new windshield look through. Yeah, it's all good. Lee says 16 year old. You're right, Lee. Well, I can, a girl can think or wish. Right. No, actually, I wouldn't want to be 16 again. Boy, I was a stupid 16 year old. Amy, oh, you gonna to loan on him blocks. some blocks? I'm gonna bring a block to the picnic, Andy. I'll show you what I do with blocks. <laughs> I'm gonna jack your little truck up. No, last time I used a jack, I missed the little part that the jack goes on and went straight through the fender wheel. My yeah, dad was did not, not happy. Worked real good, did it? Nope, did not work. Yeah, I'm good for another ten years and a hundred thousand miles. See, kind of like the warranty on my car. That's some of the better warranties right there. So, yeah. Speaking of warranty, let's see what. A, how old is my car? Twenty twelve. Mm -hmm. Expedition. Well, buddy said, just you know, I'm traveling. Get the extra warranty. You know, get everything. So we did the twenty five year celebration, whatever that Ford has. So here I am. I get all the warranty. Well, my car is seven years old. Well, I didn't read the fine print because I just hit 40,000 miles. Well, I didn't know it had to be six years it's or 75,000. or Yeah, some about six or something. Well, they used to say I just hit 40,000 on a seven-year-old car. So all that money we paid for that extra warranty, we got a tire out of it. They ain't never been to the shop. No. Oh, no, that little spring yeah, thing. Yeah, one. Uh, the spring. Yeah, the strut put Yeah, on. I had a strut put. That was it. So, I ain't even broken my car. So, yeah, next time I buy one, I won't take that long-term warranty because I don't go nowhere. Hey, where did the track go? Hold on, y'all. It's there. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. No, let me yes, see. Yes, it is. As long as you leave it alone, you get the monkey with it to stop. See, see, now we got see it. it. Moved. See how it moved? Oh, y'all, did y'all see Tasha over at Pine Knots Cakes? Bless her heart. Ooh, that was some work, yeah. I can't remember how much sour cream she said she used. I don't know, like 10 pounds or something. That was crazy. Yeah, Andy, them, them old trucks are uh, hanging in there, I tell you. that You can keep building miles, building miles, as long as you keep maintenance, take care of them. Oh, hey, United, I didn't see you on here. See, I was running my mouth as usual. I bet y'all wondering what I'm cooking, huh? You see, I'm not in no hurry on cooking because I'm going to throw a surprise at you. Mm -hmm. Y'all ever heard of, uh, let's see, what would, uh, we call them Creole pralines. Y'all ever heard, heard of pralines? Because that's what we're doing tonight. Yeah, I know, Overlook. Probably shouldn't do That's Probably going to jinx it. What? Talking about the car not never having trouble. Oh, I got to knock on some wood. I knock saw on it. wood. It'd be all good. As long as he stays out of it, I'm letting him drive it. He puts his foot in the gas. Well, she rides around, uh, and I'm talking about like, we got people passing her in the slow lane over here. I do the speed lane. in the fast lane, in the slow lane, they're wearing her out. No, you ain't doing speed lane. You're way below speed lane. But no. She puts around in town, and you get in there, and I mean, it's got a V8 in it, and it was made to get out there and run, and uh, it's so choked up when I get in there, I have to blow the soot out of it every now and then. Get all that carbon blowed out of it. No, don't do Creole. Well, what else you call it? It's Creole pralines. Y'all, I don't know why they call it Creole pralines, but maybe because there's a difference between a praline and uh well everybody knows what peanut brittle is but the red one um uh, my mind just left me it's round and it's red it's got a lot of it's got normally peanuts in it some people call those pralines but that's not pralines that's something else 
Well, oh, my brain left me. What was, what was some red candy things? But anyway, it's made with white sugar where pralines is made with brown sugar. But I figured we'd have fun with it tonight. Maybe something that y'all want to do for the holidays. It's everybody loves them. Easy peasy. It is easy. Easy peasy and simple. You know what, Brenda? The other day I was Marco and I was talking about you. And the words I used was, uh, you know, since I'm being blessed to be a moderator, even though I'm mm, I'm far from wearing a T-shirt. Uh, I said, well, I stalk Brenda over at Duncan 1900. <laughs> Where did that come from? I mean, it just, you know, the words come out of my mouth. But I said, yeah, I'll be stalking her for a long time because that's who I knew was a moderator. So wherever you was modding at, I'd go over there and watch that live just so I could see what you was doing. Knowing I wasn't learning that doggone thing by watching you. I didn't know which buttons hit, but in my mind, I thought I was in school. Mm -hmm. Mark said you need to invent some chocolate covered chitlets. Uh, Mark, if she cooks them, will you eat them? Chocolate covered? Yeah. I don't know about that, but hey, I, I'm willing to try anything, but I got to have somebody that's willing to taste test. I'm not taste testing that. <laughs> I am far from wearing a t-shirt, but I tell you what, when I can learn to put them HTTP things on there, then I've earned my t-shirt. Right now, all I do is permanently block people. That's all I, and sometimes I block the wrong people, so, but that's all right. I'm getting there. But anyway, I'm going to let Buddy look at these, these things here. I'm fixing to uh, whip this up. And hopefully when the chat's over, we can Yeah, that's, that's the kind them. I need too, poor boys, is a moderator in training. Hmm. I, right. I type too slow. I, I can I can catch it and hit and hold it, but man, well, by the time I get through, here, uh, well, time I, I get through right typing now, something, to. it'll be over. I'm going to turn this chair sideways. All right. Get yours out of the way. Oh. Do a little adjusting here. How do you know to do all that? All I see is words. Well, that's because I'm watching on another device over here, see? Oh, all right. Stainless steel pot. This sucker's 20 years old, okay? I didn't ride the turnip truck again. I was driving it. Oh, Lord. A cup and a half of brown sugar. You could use dark, but dark gets bitter now. But a cup and a half of brown sugar going in. Wish she'll get you one, Mimsy. And a half a cup of canned milk. Nope, that's not what y'all call it. Condensed milk. See, I call it canned milk. Half a cup of condensed milk. Oops, going in. Mm, that's that stuff I can eat with a spoon right out the jaw. You know, that's how I make caramel. It's with this canned milk. Condensed milk. I'm going to learn all these words one day. Can y'all imagine when I get through with that cookbook how hilarious that's going to be? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it up. I'm on about a medium heat. Andy, I heard you was quality control manager. That's what she said on all taste testing. Yep. Now, once it melts... Y'all gonna bring it to a ball. You and Mark gonna be having competition on that. Y'all, well, y'all can judge, and, and that'd be a, a couple of good judges there, you know. And what I'm gonna do, since I don't know how long it takes, because I test mine with ice water, and I got a clear glass so I can show y'all what it's supposed to look like when it's dropped in there. I'm gonna go ahead and time it. I'm thinking less than 10 minutes, but we gonna see, I'm guessing. But that's how long it's got a bowl to reach that stage that you want. Southern Bless, you, you're so right. That's why I got the camera set where it is. I kind of like this uh, position of camera and angle. Um, it, it, only, it does not show my belly. See, and uh, I think we was talking about the other night, round is a, uh, you know, a shape too. But, uh, yeah, I'm putting on weight daily just being a rounder. Been doing it for years. Who, you? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. He done went up 10 inches in his waist size in 20 years. And that's just because he wears his pants under his belly. Really measured. He probably went up, what, 14 inches? Oh, or better, probably. You know, but hey, there's a trick to everything. <laughs> you can get below the gut with them Whoops. britches. Your waist size go back down. All right. I mean, that's sticky. I got to get this off my hands. All right. What they saying? Since I can't read, I'm looking at it. But I can talk. Andy, Andy's uh, making sure everybody knows he has got the uh, quality control manager position over taste testing, and uh, him and Mark is uh, figuring out who's going to do it. Back oh. Cards. oh, Susan Smith. Mark owed me today checking on me, and she's from the Mitten State. I'm sure y'all know where that's at, Minnesota. Minnesota. Uh, they're supposed to get a frost. Did you say tonight or tomorrow? I thought she said tonight. I, I didn't. I was just catching no, a glimpse. Tomorrow, of I think tomorrow. What y'all Already in August, they're going to get a frost. I'm telling y'all, we got some of the craziest weather I've ever, ever seen. Okay, Mark is a vice president. Andy said he's a president. Hello, Mac. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? So, Mac's the chairman then? I guess Mac's going to be the chairman. We got a VP. We need a a chairman for quality control. That's right. right? That's right. Uh, uh, Mark Big Belly means you got a great cook. I'm telling you. All right. I'm going to show them what it looks like because it don't hurt nothing. I don't know where the camera is. It is hot, so just touch, touch uh, that pot. Look right there. Look, oh, that's how I can see. See, it just kind of looks like melted peanut butter. But it's fixing to come to a bubble. And we're going to time it. Now, I got it set on a number three, which is like a above low, below medium. Kind of hard to tell y'all what number to put it on. Everybody's stove's different. Okay, it's starting to bubble. So, I'm going to set it. My clock says 616. So, we're going to see how long it takes. Mac, you're going on a ride tomorrow, man. You be careful and enjoy. Watch all them clowns out there all over the road, man. Uh, you know how they are. Y'all be safe out there. Hardnack, glad to have you in here. How are you doing? All right, Mimsy, go get your garden done. Oh, I think she's beating rain. I think I saw yeah, rain. Yeah, that's supposed to be a bunch. We're supposed to get some, but it, i tell you what, it clouded up this evening. I've heard a few more and of the rain. I, man, I smelled the fresh grass out there, cut it work, and then... Caught a little, uh, just a, it was a short whiff of rain and uh, never seen a drop. Still ain't seen none now. They call them for some, but I don't, I ain't going to count on it. Y'all see I'm playing with my stove because I want it boiling, but I don't want it blistering, you know. So you kind of got to start adjusting. And you don't stop stirring or you're going to scorch it and that's going to be over with. United We Stand said, Ted Lippy, the Mitten State is Michigan. What did I say? I said Michigan, didn't I? No, uh, I said Minnesota. Yeah, Mi now, uh, Michigan. See, Susan going to get on here and she going to correct me again. Thank you, darling. Hello, Swampy Acres. Andy said he got him a new smoker grill. Oh, I think I saw that. I know y'all think yeah, it's going to be good. Doing? Well, what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit more canned cream because I don't think that's enough. So my measurement, I tried to be smart and remember how I do this. You have a good evening, Hardnack. Oh, look, y'all got Maybe rain. Maybe I hope we get some. Rain. I hope we get some. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. Willie Parker said it's raining in North Carolina. I hope that rain will come around here. It's so dry. We got a bunch of old hard, old hard base clay around here. I'll tell you what, you go out there right now, uh, one of them little old cracks that you might see. You could probably put four quarters in it. No, you probably put $40 worth of quarters in it. Yep, in a row. It'll go straight on down to China right now. Yep, sure would. 
Now, y'all see I'm tilting this. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, I tell you what. Uh, you get her to do that. We need to video it. And, uh, I, hey, I wouldn't have nothing again. I, I tell you what, that'd be good. You get her out there adjust the valves. That's a win-win. Then she'll know what, what all's into it, you know. Keep it tuned up. Southern Bless, their parents are in Michigan. Said it's 70 degrees today and 39 tonight. That's a drastic change Who's here. 39 tonight? Uh, Michigan. Shoot, we'd be lucky if we see 95 tonight. <laughs> you serious? Man. Homestead and Highlands. Hello from Scotland. How are y'all? Glad to see you come in. It's almost there. So where we at? We have four minutes. And this is a little video batch, so it ain't going to take long. At all. Pete's little homestead, so he had rain all here right, this morning. Let me show them something. All right, let me turn that off. Y'all see this? When I dropped it in that cold water, I don't know if they can see. Can y'all see me pull that? Mm -hmm. That's when you know it's right. Because you want it to set up, but you still want it to be a little chewy. So, I'm going to take it off the stove. Get that sticky off my hands one more time. I, can't I hear you, poor boy. That's uh, There's an art to it. Repetition, repetition. Now, I'm going to put a tablespoon of butter. That's real butter. Don't, none of that, uh, what do you call it? Margarine. No margarine. I ain't going to measure, but it's about a tablespoon. Stringfield, your temperature drops too? I'm looking forward to getting up there and uh, maybe enjoying a little of that coolness here for long. And it's going to be the tough part. This is where you beat it. Till the sheen, uh, I guess called a sheen, a shine, sheen, the shiny stuff goes away. Try to be smart and call it a sheen. Yeah, Willie Parker, we have uh, definitely got some heat here in Louisiana. It's the humidity that goes along with it. It's, tell you what, it'll, it'll, it'll mess you up. It'll get you before you know it. Don't watch it. United, we stand at 84 today, 66 tonight. Whoa, that's, that's that a ain't good bad. right there. Hey, that ain't bad. Uh -uh. Now I gotta get. I would love out. to have that. Boy, the grandkids would hear they they lick this thing right here. Oh, there ain't no doubt. Now, anywhere you want it, if you Man, want, here a, I am. Oh, well, you can have a cup to two cups. I'm gonna break it in half, and I'm gonna do a cup and a half of pecans, just chopped pecans. And then I'm going to stir it, and you got to stir fast. Oh, this eyeball's working good. I can see everything in this Turn, You got it tuned in, ain't you, girl? Yep. So glad. And then I'm going to put it out on this wax paper, and uh, it's done. Just that simple, y'all. But now, if I'm doing this for the holidays, I make a big old batch. But I think if it was me, <laughs> I'd go actually a cup, a can milk, not a half a cup. I'm just three quarters to a cup if it was me. See, I'd add more. So, you know, I'm trying to get y'all the recipes. All right. This stuff is hot. Yeah. Mary Beth Smith, she is making Creole uh, pralines. Yeah, they're hot. Woo. Sweet Jesus, is it hot? All right, now we're going to fold them up. Y'all ain't going to be able to see, but I'll bring y'all uh, bring y'all back when I get it, when they harden up. So does anybody Come know Ridge. my rollings? Come Ridge Homestead said they had some relief. They got some rain. Temps had dropped. Felt good in mid Louisiana. But we should, I hope it comes on north there, Coon Ridge. I, huh, we could show sure stand some. I mean, the wind was blowing earlier, which was shocking to me, but 
I don't know where it was coming from. It's coming out of the south, so I'm assuming there's some rain down there. What I'm assuming. Well, this is setting up faster than I can uh, scoop it up. Because I can see it, but the colors are messing with me. I got to get used to this. Swampy acres, we are doing uh, Creole pralines. Yep. I'm sure everybody knows what this is. I'm still trying to think pink, no. Peanut patties. That's the red things. Peanut patties. I knew it would come to my mind. Is Tasha still on? Mm-hmm. Ask her what she can it. Tasha, find it. not uh, what, what you can him. Lippy's wanting to know. Just because Lippy knows him? Mm-hmm. She knows him. I'm nosy. I admit it. I'm nosy. D-225, she used condensed milk. Yeah, I apologize for saying canned milk. That's what I call condensed milk, so I apologize. And it's a cup. Do not a half a cup, because half a cup wasn't enough. Y'all do know that I do this on my live so I can practice and write recipes, because I kind of throw it together to see. Y'all actually are helping me. Y'all making me be accountable for my measurements. Yep, oh boy, you, you can't quit them. You just gotta cut back a little bit. Can't quit what? It'll off a little dibbies. Oh, Lord, y'all back on that heifer? Fine not family farms so the pinto beans today. Ooh, we love some pinto mm, beans. Pinto beans are good too. Yeah, when it cools off, I'm supposed to be making Mark over at Overlook some traditional New Orleans red beans when it cools off. I can't put that in the, in the, in the kitchen at 110 degrees outside. That's too hot. Mm -hmm. Way too hot. My fingers are burning. I ain't going to lie to you. My fingers are burning. Yeah, Mark, that, uh, that, that Popeye's chicken pretty good with it. They finally got it open where you could get some. Oh, he don't like to tell the story. Let me tell y'all a story. Popeye's opened in Overlook Valley's town, right? And I ain't lying to y'all. The town shut down. I saw pictures because it's a small town. Uh, the town shut down to line up to go to Popeye's. Y'all didn't think that was funny to see. I laughed and then I smiled. It was like a good smile, a good feeling, you know. It just, to me, it made me think back in the olden days, you know. Something yeah. new kind. Homestead in the Highlands said he was cooking the night. Uh, set, all, uh, set all the smoke alarms off on the farm. Seems like all the alarms are linked together. Set one off, the whole farm is screaming. Oh, Lord. That sounds like our Sunday morning battery episode at the old place. You ain't lying. Woo, you talk about a mess that day. Y'all ever had six batteries go out on the farm at one time? We did. All within an hour of each other. Ecocentric homestead is a true cook that can just throw it together without measurements, and it turns out great. Well... We, we trying around here. We're going to find we, out. That, uh, that's, sometimes that's the best best meals you get once it's thrown together. It's, it's thrown all right. I don't think I quite got my measurements right. But guess what? That's why I like live TV. It that's makes right. me be accountable. Okay. Now I can sit down and read what people are saying. <laughs> Yeah, Willie, watch out for uh, uh, Mimsy. She gets on me all the time. Every time I bring it up about uh, little Debbie, or, uh, she don't like them little Debbies. But wait, that little Debbies is that because all that processed stuff. Yeah, all that processed food. Yeah. She tells us it ain't no good. It's actually good. I don't know about good for you, but no, it's good. No, no. It tastes good, but it ain't good for you. Well, 
that's anything what it that's is. good anything that's good for you usually mm -hmm. ends up not tasting that good but it's the things that are not good for you that taste so good well those look good yet uh-oh we're spinning yeah probably are we spinning now it may just be on my phone yeah i don't know we shouldn't be but I don't know. Maybe. Are y'all spinning or is it just us here on, on one of these phones? She said something about look up. No, poor boy said. Mimsy look Mimsy up. Mimsy look up. <laughs> oh, sorry. Here, let me get all up in the camera. What did I miss? You probably overlooked no buffering. Oh, okay, good. I'm well, going to check the dog. My <laughs> other one, you're going to check the who? The dog. The dog? Yeah, like Gigi. Oh, is something wrong with her? I don't know. Y'all, oh, he heard something. Yeah, ever since we lost Sweet Pea, Gigi's mama, that was a week ago, so it'll be two weeks Monday. Um, Gigi's had a hard time, so, um, and I know she's had a hard time, but I think she also saw that we was giving in to her and giving her little treats and, you know, little extra things. Now she's smart. So she comes to you with her head hung. Yeah, I think now she's playing us. Um, you see, he went there. Mm -hmm. I think she played him. That's all right, though. I don't mind. Oh, you thought? Yeah, I didn't think about that, Mark. I really thought. I really thought he was checking the dog. See? Sometimes I worry about my own self. They do get a little spoiled though, Brenda. I mean, and she she's had a she really did have a hard time, but you know, eating supper and we never he never ever has done this. When he gets through, I see little pieces sitting. And all of a sudden the pieces are not on the plate no more. Wonder where those pieces went. I'm not, I'm not dumb. I know because she follows him now everywhere instead of me. I know what's going on. And that's true. That's true, Freaky Geek. And see, she lost her daddy. We had the mom and daddy. Um, she lost her daddy in February. And then, um, let's see, he was 15. 14 or 15. And Sweet Pea was 15 when she passed. So, you know, Gigi was born here with us. And now Gigi will be 11 in February. Somebody's got four. Oh, Homestead and Highlands, y'all got four sheep coming? Four sheep next week. My pa ran, uh, meaning, let's see, in English, that's a godfather. My pa ran, uh, lived in South Louisiana. Every time school was out or something, I'd go to my pa ran nanny's. Well, he decided he was going to get into the sheep business. Well, I, I guess he knew you had to trim them. I don't think he was quite prepared for this trimming. So me and uh, <laughs> his son and my nanny, we out there watching. You know, we up on the, on the horse post, we watching. You know, this is going to be cool. He gets this sheep inside this thing, and he going to trim. I don't know what kind of trimmers. For all I know, it could have been a human trimmer. All I know, it looked about that wide. And he went to do this, and they got hung up, and it was going, roar, roar, and all of a sudden, his sheep starts making this noise. He had to go get some scissors and cut the, the fuzzy hair right off of them cutters, whatever he had. What, two weeks later, he got out of sheep business. <laughs> Completely out the sheep business. Had the cows. Had the horses. That's it. He was done. But I'll, that's, first, that's the first and the only time that I've ever actually been around any kind of sheep. And it scared me to death. I couldn't have been 13, maybe. It scared me, slapped to death. He was hollering. The sheep was hollering. And this electric thing was hung up. You know, I'll be staying out like a good thunderstorm, too. A good thunderstorm promotes a good nap for me. Let's see. She said, 
you see, you, I was reading good. You scooted away, so I got to come up here. Well, Let I scooted see. away so you have a little bit wider angle. Oh, well, that's fine. What you trying to say, mister? Well, I wasn't including you in that one. I was talking about me. Mm -hmm. Two gotlins, a blue... Oh, or, oh, these are the type of sheep. Right. Oh. Well, I couldn't tell you. These was... These will look like uh, big old tall white poodles. That's what they look like, like poodles. You know, big ones. Poodles. I mean, that's what they look like. Well, hair wise, they no, look I, like I poodles. I'm saying there, I've never seen a poodle look like a sheep, but. but I said, big, the, you know, the hair looked like white poodles. And it was real, it was soft though, but it was kinky, kinky, but it was soft. Mm. It was soft. It was cool. Yeah, I'm telling you, he had, right. look, it wasn't just the clippers. He had the wrong clippers. He was the wrong kind of owner, and I don't think they supposed to be in South Louisiana either. I think it was just all wrong, but we're talking in the 70s. So, I imagine people done got smarter since then. Well, Lord, I hope they did. Move it so you could see it. With your good eye. Oh, yeah. well, y'all see I'm kind of leaning in because I'm trying to learn to focus because this is what I'm seeing right now out of this one. But if I go in, I can see out of this one. Yeah, I'm just jacked up. That's all right. Yeah, I'm telling you, it was poodles. United, it looked like overgrown, white, curly head poodles. Who going to, oh, is, is poor boy messing with Mimsy? I Am I missing this? That's, that's the, Where's Mimsy up here? That's I the way we got to do it. We got to keep on y'all. Keep y'all fired up. Oh, now you know what? You email me, Homestead in the Highlands, before you do that. Would that not be, poodle, poodle cut a sheep. That's right. Now, that's a viral video. A little clip on a couple of sheep for a laugh. That's what I'm talking Boy, about. Boy, that would one heck a heck of a laugh. Buddy wants a uh, peacock. Yeah, I like to I watch him old peacocks why. run around and listen to them. I don't, I don't know why you would want a peacock. I mean, they pretty, but. I don't know why we got cats. I mean, they don't do nothing but lay around and meow and eat. Sooner or later, so baby, the they ain't gonna get... kill nothing. Oh no! Well, it it won't come from me, United. I I was the last one on the cypress knee. Hmm. Yeah, my mama. Uh, so that'd be my great grandmother came from Nova, Nova Scotia. Yeah, just my great grandmother. So yeah, and I don't bake bread. I'm 54. I don't bake bread no more. So they gonna have to uh breed the Louisiana out of somebody else. I'm just locked up with it. Well, I'll wait till next year for you to poodle cut that thing. That'd be hilarious. Uh-oh. Yeah, behave, poor boy. I don't know what you're doing, yeah, but he's on Mimsy the got a cook for Mimsy you. Out the garden. Oh, I get what's going on. Y'all just bad. They fun to watch and listen to. Pine Gosh, I don't know. Okay. I just don't. I'm telling you, I think if anybody on here has got peacocks, I bet they'll tell you some kind of negative. They just can't just be pretty and perfect. <laughs> they got something. I don't know. Do they poop on your lawn chairs or? Okay. I don't know. They can't just be just peacocks. There's got to be a negative. Got to be. They sleep on the roof. Yeah, they got a roof somewhere. And in the tree. Poor boys eating the Debbie's while well, I mean. For real. Well, they are a bird, so I guess they. They got a roof somewhere. Boy, I bet that would be funny looking them suckers go. You know, it'd be like an owl or something, huh? Don't they have like big old wings? Be like walking in on a, uh, jumping up a wild turkey out in the woods. It sounds like a B-52 when it's taking now, off. Now, I have wood. heard that they're good watchdogs. I have heard that. I don't know about the noise, though. Oh, I just can't. 
me and another noisemaker together? That's what I was just going to say. I already live with the noise now. That another one won't That hurt. would not be. Oh, we clash. Hey, they try to talk there, over me, to and, and around. I get to try to talk over it, and the next thing you know, right. pop, pop, say the weasel, it'd be yeah, gone. I won't have to worry about nothing else coming around here, though. There's two arms on it. I see that, United. Ha, ha. You see what he said? Uh -huh. He likes messing with me, though. Don't you? He had two white peacocks. Oh, no. And one got sick. Mm. Oh, that's not good. Hold up. Peacocks are mean. They no. can be. Oh, well, we don't. You'd you probably get, get the mean. No, you you'd get, get a crazy nice. one. You'd get an inbred crazy you know peacock, I bring would. it to this house, mm. and then I'd shoot it. You know I would. Yeah, you would. Oh, where's the food? Let's see. Let me see. Hey, you know, Let me see. I don't want it on my hands. What's All right, how did you hand? say do this? One day I'm going to learn where these cameras are. You ladies know me on Marco. I ain't never found a camera. Am I even close? Working on it. I'm well, lagging. I'm lagging. Your phone's over here. messed. Up. Can anybody see it? I'm lagging. Buddy, buddy, uh, he ain't doing well over here. I don't know if anybody. It ain't me. It's the internet, girl. What did I jumped on? I don't know. Can y'all see this? Oh, okay. Max said he sees it. You see how good that looks? Holy moly. Hmm. Can I slap you? Because it's good. Slap me, girl. Here. It's good, y'all. Oh. It almost tastes like bourbon. You know, because that molasses and that sugar, it's got this Sweet bourbon taste. Mm, mm, mm. Let me tell y'all something. Mm. Hello. Oh, that's almost. Mm. You and Mark need to think that's almost like Little Debbie's. Mm. No, it's better than Little Debbie's. Mm. Sweet. That's some good stuff, y'all, right there. I'm not lying. So I'm going to recap this. Since I had to tweak it, I'd have a sugar comb on that. It's so sweet. I'm not a big sweet. I'm about there now. Anyway, it's a cup and a half of brown sugar. I told y'all a half a cup of canned cream. Not canned cream. Condensed milk. Condensed. I added more. I'm gonna on this. I'm gonna lay on the side of caution, and I'm gonna tell y'all a cup of condensed milk, three fourths to a cup. Um, and you're just gonna. Cook it on a low to medium. Once it comes to that bowl, you need to whip, whip, whip. Hello, and Brian's from Farms. What did we say? Five, we timed it five minutes. So y'all's may be upwards of six, seven minutes. Boy, but you'll ahead. know when you drop it in some cold water mm. and it immediately wants to harden. Not snap hard, but harden. Pull it off. Add you a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And whip it till the sheen's off the, the shiny stuff, which y'all saw might have took me, what, a minute maybe of whipping? And then your pecans, a cup to two cups. I'm going to weigh on the side of a cup of pecans because you, you want a little pecans, which I would top mine finer. I kind of got me a meat mallet because I wanted to be lazy, and I just kind of beat them. So some of them were bigger than what I like my pecans. And then set them on wax paper, let them set up. Now, I took my hands and I mashed them together because I had some big pieces of pecan. If they were smaller pieces, you could do them with just a spoon. If I could just send one, one to each one of you through this. Oh, it's so good. Oh, right through here. Oh, Lord. Smell of vision, taste of vision. Mm -hmm. It is. It's so, so good. 
It's uh, Creole uh, Praline's uh, Freaky Geek. Pee in a can. You don't like pee in a can. Oh, we not talk peas. Oh, you're talking about peas like in a metal can. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe Freaky Geek Anna. thought I said it's uh, Praline's Freaky Geek. It's uh, brown sugar and, and condensed milk cooked. It makes a candy. So it's like a candy. Sarah, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, young lady. Uh, Got to have a sweet tooth fix. Make him some pro. I bet you got everything. You know, and y'all don't have to use pecans. Y'all could use walnuts, I guess, but pecans is our staple here. Mark, I wouldn't push my luck. I think we have what uh, we got about 20 pounds left in the freezer. About 20, we're down to 20 pounds. I use a lot of pecans at this house. Yeah, Duncan 1900. You want to watch it? I'll watch it. I sure will. I love, I do, I like pecans. Oh. <laughs> Crystal Creek. Somebody say Little Debbie. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all what. If Mimsy was on here, she'd tell y'all about that Little Debbie. Mm -hmm. She'd be all, that's why y'all always, y'all talking about it. Mimsy's in the garden, see. Y'all ain't thinking she could probably watch replay and get every one of y'all. Boy, I laugh. Sugar-free syrup. Sugar-free syrup on the biscuits tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Lord bless. How in the boy. world is sugar-free syrup made? It ain't got no sugar in it. Oh, it's just natural sugar, like like nothing, like some other sweetener. I'm gonna Google that sugar-free syrup. Might be better for you. I make my own maple syrup. Probably not. There's a video, y'all. I'd show y'all how I make my maple syrup. You you run out of brown sugar? Girl, uh -oh. you know that's a staple up in a house. I can't believe. Well, yeah, you're going to have to fix him something. She's gone country, said sugar-free. I want to know how... Syrup is sugar free. I, I'm really interested Maybe in that. Maybe with sugar substitute. That's what Mary Beth said. It's what? Made with sugar substitute. Oh, like, um, oh, who had it out the other day? Was it Tracy using it or somebody used Stevia? Oh, was, Lord. Was oh, boy, Tracy you shouldn't let her hurt my phone it? call. I'm going to tell you now. It's gonna get it's gonna get real bad. Somebody had some stevia, and I said, "I bet that's uh, the free sugar you can have." Oh, glasses. that is gonna be cool as all get out. Getting a permit to take syrup from the maple tree. Oh, well, yeah. when I say I make maple syrup, I'll have to do that video. It is a Louisiana way to make maple syrup. But it's good, y'all. I mean, it is good. It's not. Uh, yeah, I can't go out black to the tree and stop brittle. it. I've never had black walnut brittle. I'd like to try it. Oh, I bet that would be mm -hmm. good. Good. Yeah, you can make some uh, brown sugar if you got molasses. That's all it is, is, is uh, molasses or... Springfield, so you use trivia. Lee uses organic raw I sugar. knew. I told you I thought it was... Teresa, that used this thing called stevia. And I didn't want to be dumb on that and ask no question, so I went and Googled it. I just told what I just done. Oh, well. I love that brown raw sugar. Now, that, I love that. But we just have pure cane. You know, I just stay normal. Oh, the walnuts are huge. See, at the holidays, we get the mixtures of walnuts and... Um, those Brazilian nuts. Well, that's not what my daddy called them, and I ain't gonna tell, tell you what. what he all, all the uh, acorns and nuts and all from, from everywhere I hear they they fall in real early. Oh, Coon Ridge. I have cane syrup in this house, and I also have, and it's from Alabama. My son-in-law. What is it? 
it's a a molasses, but it's the one made there in Alabama. I'm in the Highlands. Glad you got delicious. to come by. Delicious. Get you some rest. 1 a.m. Oh, honey. Y'all go get you some sleep. 1 a.m. Catch you soon, darling. What? Oh, you can grow stevia? Am I even pronouncing it right? Stevia? Stevia? Stevia. stevia? Oh, Crystal Creek? The yard is covered in acorns. I mean, covered. That, that to me, that's a true telltale. We gonna have us a winter. Now, I'm not talking about like North Dakota, you know, uh, 27 foot snow banks, but we're gonna have a wet, cold winter. And uh, and if you're in the South, that wet, cold will just it'll pierce your bones. But yeah, we got a whole whole lot of acorns on the ground, so I think we actually going to have a fall this Man, year. It's way early for acorns and nuts. Way to be way too day. early, and the ground's covered, and I see the leaves starting to want to crinkle and come down, and it ain't from the heat. You, you know, you can tell. So I think we're going to actually see a, a fall here, which won't hurt my feelings by no means. But we're going to have to stack up on the firewood because we use our fireplace. We have electric heat, but I prefer to use our uh, fireplace for our main source of heat by the kitchen and the living room. Yeah, we all were already gathering wood just in case because we got a pretty good bit piled up, but I want to make sure we got plenty. Try to save on that light bill. I like to burn hey, the fireplace Mama tried. as much as can. I talked to you the other day. I don't know what. We own so many lives together, all of us, I tend to forget. <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah, she does. Coonridge, she grows uh, stevia. Because as y'all were talking about it, it started coming to my mind. I I probably won't be growing it. I don't know it. I don't know really anything about it. I'm just kind of, uh, I'm kind of set in my ways. Um, and I don't, I don't like change. It makes me, I don't know. So and stuff that I'm not familiar with at all. I tend to say, well, I'll research and I do. And then I research and I do. And then I just don't. Um, Cause it's outside my comfort zone. I don't, I don't know. I just, I've never been one to go outside my comfort zone. I try to grow what I do know and maybe a little bit of a little lawn yop, a little something extra. And then that's it. I know what works for me. So uh, like I said, I did my garden this year and I went way out my comfort zone and it bit me in the you know what, and I ain't never going back outside my box. I'm just gonna stay in a box the rest of my life. It worked real fine for me. Oh Lord, Duncan, three stoves. That's a oh that's I a will lot to keep fed, but uh yeah, I, I would sure help out. We gonna get one one day. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get one one day. I think your food tastes better. It's just I just want one. We yeah, had one at our dinner. Essential camp. said, do you have a recipe to do something with Brazil nuts? Roast them. Oh, you mean like, yeah, you can actually roast them and put uh, Creole seasoning on them. They're really good. But what I would do is I take them and I put a little bit, roast them till they get lightly warm, not burnt. And I take me some raw honey and I put a little bit of raw honey and I'd move them around and then come back with some back heat, like a Creole seasoning, um, um, Cajun seasoning, um, like a Tony's or so, if you're liking that. Uh, if you don't like that, you could probably do um, um, it was on the tip of my tongue. Oh. It comes out once a year and I like to put it with my french fries, that funny nut that falls under the tree. My brain left me and you grate it. Oh, never mind. It'll come to me. But, you know, as long as you get it warm and you put some raw honey so it, it Cause you know, you got a bitter nut when you warm Hello, it Grandma, and you come so back happy. with the honey, then come back with a coating of whatever you want. And I think, I think that you can tweak it to your liking. That's how I would do it. Now that we stand, we got, we got some little black bears, little honey bears, uh, uh, nothing really other, other than that around here, but, uh, they don't, they don't really Truffles, come up a whole thank lot, you, you know? having essentials. You knew out. what I was saying. 
Oh, truffles on French fries? Mm -hmm. God, dog. But I have a friend that can get a hold of them. If I had to order them and buy them, would never happen in my lifetime. Never happen. But I have somebody that treats me. Hazelnuts? No, uh, Dave, it was uh, truffles. If that's what you were asking on the hazelnuts, it was the truffles. And it's so neat. They actually use dogs to sniff these truffles out. I'm fascinated with uh, with that part of the, the country. Grandma's so happy. I didn't know that you was in here, honey. Hello. Mary Beth Smith. How long you been up in here? I didn't see <laughs> you. Buddy didn't tell me you was in here. See, I forget about talking, y'all. I'm too busy being nosy, seeing what y'all have to say. We do, too. United asked if we had bears. We I got bears. We had bears. You was too busy. Up, 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 oh, up, 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 yeah, we got bears. Mm-hmm. I ain't never seen one, but I know we got them. We got the little black bears, honey bears. We're going to call them. I know we got some other things. We got bobcats. Uh, we got We got all kinds of wildlife. But I, and we got panthers. Y'all ever hear a panther holler in the dark? Mm -hmm. You hate. talk about make the hair stand up on your back. Woo! When that hair forgets to howling, Lord forgive me, but it sounds like a woman needing help. Like heard, heard many about their hog hunting. Yeah. Running through our lines through the night. I've actually been probably 20 foot from one and uh I bet them clowns would be all over. up in them woods. Yeah, I wouldn't. Coon Ridge, I wouldn't say nothing. Not nothing. Chop them up and put them in the cookies. What, what are we chopping up and putting in the cookies? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Stevia, not sativa. What's sativa? Probably means salvia. Stevia and not salvia. I think salvia is that mess that them. Oh, kids, salvia is kids drugs. Are messing with, yeah. yeah, salvia is drugs. Okay. Yeah. Let's just say uh, I don't know. I got rid of that some quick use it years ago. Some kind of mess. When I heard that was drugs, I got rid of it. Mary Beth said they claim ain't no panthers in the south. Oh, yes, there is. That see that's that's the thing they uh, claim. I've seen them I'm telling you personally, and, and Mary Beth my obviously knows because she said they claim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see that's cute. They claim. Yeah, because they don't want people to go freak out is what it is. You know, I'm sorry. Wildlife and fish fisheries actually needs to bring this this uh to the forefront. They need to bring awareness because um, the more educated the residents are, depending on where you're from, the better they can be prepared. They can then educate. Uh, sometimes I, I personally think our wildlife and fishery just don't bring enough to the community. You know, let them know, look, this is, I know they don't want to panic, but I still think there's a happy median there. You know, it just lets the community be aware. And there's nothing wrong with people being aware because what happens is they get hurt or somebody else gets hurt because they panic because no one told them, you know, or they didn't know. Oh, Lord, but that's Grandma's another story. So happy. Uh, what? Bless you. Go, go take care of. So you got to sit oh, back in the house. I'll be yes. right back. Praying for that baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you go take care of that baby. We know. Well, we spent a many a nights taking turns rocking a baby. Yeah, Branscombe Farms. They, uh, there's, there's bears in Arkansas. Like I say, we, we've Skin got some on the wall. black ones, you know, little black bears here. I've seen decent sized ones, but nothing real big. Oh, Brazil nuts. Those are good. Those are really good. But I like, you know, things like that. I'm like this up here. I'll, I'll actually pull the pecans off of it and eat it, but I, I won't eat actually the sugar part. <laughs> yes, Mark, you, Paul, we Paul. have gators in Louisiana. And boy, some gator tail. Yeah, actually, uh, we've had them in the pond at work. Uh, about a six they footer at one time, an eight footer at one time. They goody. Uh, I got a call one evening from one of the guys said, uh, Hey, you want an alligator? I said, Well, yeah. I said, uh, 
where'd you, where'd you get it? And he said, oh, I ain't got it. I want you to come get it. I said, well, you know, you got, that's a big fine around here. If you get caught with one, I said, oh, you better leave it alone. He said, well, it's actually standing at the double doors here at the shop. It doesn't come down the ditch, got out of the pond and walked about a hundred yards across the concrete up behind our building and was standing up behind the air conditioning and double doors laid out there in front of the, uh, of the two little windows. And, uh, told him I said, the best thing you can do is just back up away from there and just let him ease on back. He'll go back in there. About an hour, he was gone. Went back to the ditch. Uh, the Branscombe Farm, I remember, and I don't know where that was, but I actually remember seeing a news, and I don't know where it was, of this bear actually mm -hmm. in a subdivision. I remember, a couple of years. I remember one. Yeah, and it made like the big news. I'm wondering if that's the same same yeah, bear. Coon Ridge Homestead Gator is very, very uh, good. But I want to go back up to uh, the squeech out. Gee, y'all, first time I ever heard that, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I was a two, I felt like a two year old being potty trained. I soaked myself. That scared the mm out of me. First time I heard ever yeah, heard Mark, one of them. Yeah, Mark, you're gonna have to uh, see them eyes again, like we was talking about. You're gonna I'm have wondering to if that bear was that what I saw on TV. So you can get close enough to see what that is. What? What Mark wants? A gator? I understand you don't want no creepy crawler alligators. Oh, man, let me tell you what. That's some of the best eating. He got me a pet one time. I asked him for one. Well, when it did that at him, we had to go dump it. He told me I couldn't keep Well, it's against the law to keep it anyway. Bub, so. it sounds like you need to gather up some of them uh, youngins and take them snipe hunting and get rid of them. What Bub got? You got snipe. He got what? Snipe. Snipe? You, you ain't never been snipe hunting? You got to catch them in a brown paper bag. That's the only way you can get them. You got to go at night. What you hunting? Snipe. Well, what is it? It's just a little bitty animal. Well, that's what I'm asking. I ain't never heard of that. What, yeah, kind, of, bu bu he going. what kind of country does they live in? They live here. They, if you want snipe hunting, I can take your snipe hunting. Well, no, I don't want to go snipe hunting. I'll take my own gun and probably shoot you. I want to know what a snipe is. Is it like a, like a squirrel or a, well, what is it? Coon Ridge, let me tell you, etouffee and fried gator, what you, ain't nothing better. That's going to be my last meal. I want to know what, it, are y'all making a joke? It's a trick, Lippy. Oh, it's a, oh, snipe hunting is a, Y'all quit messing with me. I know I'm a hunter and I ain't never heard no snipe. Pine Knot said, Tasha, y'all messing with me. Thank you, Tasha. See, I'm a hunter and I, know I ain't never heard of no snipe. I know what a sniper is. I ain't never heard no snipe. I ain't gonna do it. I am not gonna do it. If y'all telling me don't go, I ain't going. Because y'all know what happened. If he took me out in the woods and said I was going to snipe hunt and he's pulling some kind of joke on me, I tell y'all what, there might be two in the woods. One's coming out and it ain't him. Nope. Nope. Oh, no, Mark. I don't go. I don't leave home without my uh, sister. And I ain't talking about Sarah either. Mm. Yeah, uh, y'all messing we with me? No, we ain't. I, I, I'm telling you, we're gonna find a brown paper bag. I, I guarantee you, there's some down here. I uh, guarantee you, I'm looking at your eyes too, and I know you're full mm -hmm. of. Uh, you sure you don't need to go back over there and eat? Y'all full of some, it. You can, uh, you can do a, a cooking video. People would like to see one cooked. Is there a rider? Well, you men can go play snipe all you want. I ain't falling for it. Tell you what, though. I'm going to get one of these women to tell me. I got all their numbers. I'm going <laughs> to mark them and tell them. You, I ain't cooking for you tomorrow. Well, if you catch snipe, you cook it. Because people would love to see a video of cook snipe. Oh, well, look. They said it's a joke for but Don't teach Cameron that. He's just eight. Don't teach him whatever That's it is. time start. How do we get on? I know how bug. 
Bub, you know I'm coming to the picnic and I'm cooking. You know that, right? Hey, Bub, you eat boudin? <laughs> that's, see, that's not no, no inside joke. That's like something real. Viral video of Lippy cooking snack. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. See, people want to see that. Means you're going to have to go tonight. I'll take you. I, you ain't taking me to the woods. I ain't no way you ain't taking me to no woods. Come on. I'm going to put that bag on your head. I'm going to tell the popo. He was hyperventilating. I tried to save him. And you get in the bushes, you rustle that brown paper bag and it fly right in there. Tell him. I'm going to put that paper bag over your head. I'm and I'm going to swear I was trying to save your life. They done told, no, well, actually, Crystal Creek, they just told me don't fall for it. I don't know what it is, but I got a few phone calls. I, oh, you love boudin? Good, bub. Be nice to me. I'll give you some. Eh. I'm going to have some uh, jambalaya, too, bub. I'm going to cook it there at the park. And this show is going to be good. All right, do mm -hmm. I know what, okay, I'm going to have to balance my, fix my eyes. What's that say? Okay, there's a glare. Shivery. You know what shivery? I know what shivery is. Well, I know the definition. Is this another inside? Is this joke with Lippy tonight? Because y'all know I don't know a lot of these things. Well, I want to show them one more time what this is. Did you find it? Oh, I oh. sure did, Sarah. I'm sorry. I was supposed to give you that boudin recipe like three weeks ago. Uh, yeah, I got the, I got the recipe. If I could give me some case and I'd make some uh, and, and do a video. But, yeah, I'll give you the recipe. It was actually we're almost on top of Mama's box. And that's Mama tried. I actually grill mine. I take mine and I grill it on a, on a light flame, but I don't like the casing busted. And as soon as I roll it and I see that casing want to kind of want to come, you know, apart, I immediately take it and I cook it then on indirect heat for a good hour and a half. And what it does, it makes that casing crisp up, you know, where it snaps. Oh, Lord, what's some good eating. Mm, I can't wait for tailgate food. Neither. It is going to be. But that's the best way to I cook food, Dan, is uh, right there, on bud, indirect please. heat. Crystal Creek said jambalaya is the best. Yeah, I'm going to do a, I'm going to bring a pork butt, but instead of cutting it there, I'm, you know, I'm going to try to bring things kind of portioned out. I'm going to, uh, I got a pork butt in the freezer and I'm going to cut it up before I come keep it in the cooler. And then I heard there was a store somewhere. So if I need a few little things, I shouldn't need anything. I'm going to try to bring it all from here. Um, but to me, that makes the best jambalaya. If I don't have pork butt, I'll take, uh, uh, pork backbone and I actually cook it with the bone in it to get that good flavor and then the bone will come right out and you got pieces of pork in there. You bought 200 bowls? bowls today for jambalaya and oh, oh for, I was thinking she bought 200 yeah, bowls of jambalaya. I'm like who are you trying to feed today? 200. Oh, you bought bowls for. You didn't have to. Teresa, we're all coming. Let us let us do like eating on the grounds. Everybody can like do a little something. This is going to be an awesome trip. Y'all know that? Oh, it's going to be wonderful. I just, I'm going to have a ball. My poor old jaw's going to hurt. <laughs> no, they're not. I promise you. I'll tell you what. Let me tell y'all about my ideal. They will hurt. I had I had a plan for an ideal, but it would have to be I would have to get it made. Uh, I could patent it, but it would be a kind of a one time sale deal. You know, it's not a, a repeat item to be selling. So I'd have to get my price up there pretty good to start with. But I told her if I could ever extract some of that oil out of them jaws right there, sell it for cars, they'd run forever. I mean, them things been going for a while. Then we could buy our yet. own own island, and I could do what I always dreamed of doing: <laughs> putting applications out. And if you can pass my application test, you can come on in the island. <laughs> if you can't, I'm just gonna wave at you. But that's when you know you're filthy rich. But I'm sorry, you'll never be able to extract this, baby. I think they broke the mold. At least my daddy said they broke the mold. 
Oh, I'm telling you that. Yeah, that believe Where are you is. meeting? Do you, uh, hey, why don't y'all put the link up? Branscombe Farms, uh, where the Farming. meeting is for picnic. It's uh, it's September the 14th in Grand Rivers, Kentucky. Um, when I tell you, and, and I love all the get-togethers, don't get me wrong, uh, and the meetups, but my gut says this is like just a family of people coming together and and sharing knowledge, sharing friendship and sharing food and in a relaxed environment. I just I am tickled pink. I can't wait. Well see there you ain't gotta go snipe hunting tonight. Bub said he Why? take you uh, snipe hunting when you get up there. I'll send you with Bub. <laughs> Bub, I'm busy. I'm having to uh ask Teresa. I'm I'm a helping uh hostess. Huh, Teresa? Say, yeah, Teresa. See, I'm busy. I ain't falling for y'all stuff. Hmm. All right. Uh, Teresa just put it up, y'all. So, Brascom, Teresa down here at Stringfield Ridge, she uh, she put that link. Me too, Mary Beth. I, I wish I could get... I wish I could hit every one of them. I'm so proud of Teresa. She she just did what I can't wait to learn to do. One day when I put that HTTP, y'all better blow it up with hearts or balloons or whatever them emojis is on the live that I'm on. When y'all see where I added some, y'all better just blow it up. I forgot your S with your semicolon and your backslash, backslash. Say, what did I do? No, I didn't. HTTP. See that part of it. That's what I'm gonna learn to do. Oh, man. Teresa, don't tell me Mimsy taught you day. Cause see, then I'm gonna get a hold. She was supposed to give me a private tutorial lesson on that. She been mm -hmm. too busy in the garden, and uh, I didn't get my. I know lesson. here in just a little bit. She's gonna be uh, in in there in the kitchen cooking uh, po boy some uh, sweets, and so she's gonna be kind of tied up for a little bit. Hostess is kind of like a little Debbie. Well, if little Debbie's a heifer, what mm. I call myself, I'm a hostess. Hostess, hostess makes ding dongs. I ain't no ding dong, Mark. Ding dong. See, I knew he was gonna stir it up. Yeah, Duncan, you don't see me get behind you when I'm modding with you. Holy cow! Mark for what? Oh, yeah, Crystal, they ain't here. Yeah, he thinks he's funny. All of them, all them men folks, all of them on here tonight, they full of it. It's like a full moon out there. We sun. have to keep y'all moving and motivated. Well, little Debbie is definitely not my motivator. Mm -hmm. See, Willie Parker says she's not a heifer. Mm -hmm. Mimsy says she is. Oh, uh, I meant to ask you, Brenda, are you coming to the picnic? I wanted to ask you live before live, and I forgot to ask you. Are you serious? I just registered. I will be there if everything. Well, we'll pray everything works out there, Brian. Farm. This going to be good. Tony just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Good. I'm glad. I was hoping you was going to be there, Brenda. I thought I heard, but then again, I didn't know. They, my wife said they do ho-hos and twinkies, too. You know, it's been a long time. But, um, boy, when they got rid of them twinkies there for a while, I don't know what had happened. And I'm not a big sweet eater. I wanted a twinkie every day that they didn't even sell twinkies. And then they came back. I still ain't figured out why they got rid of them and brought them back. I still never understood that. But then I got one. I was like. I could have just left that alone. It was just nasty. I don't I don't know. But I had a psyched in my mind. See, I couldn't get one, so I wanted one. What? Yeah, you do need a weekend away, and this is a good weekend to take, too. It will be good. There ain't no doubt about it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Oh, uh, Teresa, if you're still on here, um, now, we're going to park. It's the parking lot. But where I set up, 
to cook on my grill, I can have my lawn chairs. In other words, I can pick me a little spot kind of amongst everybody to, to cook at. I'm assuming, yes. What's the menu for next week's live? I don't know. Um, I don't know why. Y'all got any suggestions? Throw one out at me. I throw one out every night. I didn't say you. I said them. Y'all got any suggestions for next week? Okay. Thanks, Teresa. Uh, fried Twinkies. Oh, yeah. Well, we no, we then. are not doing fried Twinkies. Let's do some fried Twinkies. I we think ain't doing no good. fried Twinkies. Make a buddy spec. No. No, we're not doing none of that buddy special stuff. Lord, please. But y'all, mm, yeah, good. throw me something out there. Boy, you got me all excited. You know, maybe that's what we ought to start doing as we end our life. Oh, we're past our life. Uh-oh, we done went over on somebody, didn't who's we? On, who's on? I don't know. Because I ain't got a notification yet. Uh-oh. I don't want to get in trouble and go over somebody. I don't, don't want to run into somebody. Yeah, I don't want to run into y'all. Uh, y'all hurry up real quick. Y'all give me some suggestions. We may do this every, uh, say, at the ending of a live. Whoever agrees or the more, I'll cook it. That way, no, we cannot have Twinkies. Fried Twinkies. Y'all going to make me have to pick it, huh? <laughs> we stand, San Francisco is full of Twinkies. Let's read fun football starts this weekend. Oh, Can Sarah yeah, I know. Sarah's got her, I already got her reserved. Buddy going out somewhere else with you or something. I, Sarah's sitting right beside me. I need a sous chef and it sure ain't him. Me and Mark will be uh, over there with the uh, rest of the uh, gentlemen. Okay, Linda, you want me to pick pick something? I wish y'all would tell me something. I don't know. I don't know what y'all would want. Pull, 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 pull. Pull. You know, I could uh, I could put a, uh, some pulled pork on and make a home, have it cooked. Well, that would take too long, but I could have it cooked to make a homemade barbecue. Frog legs? Hmm. Yeah, I could do some frog legs. That ain't a problem. I can cook some frog legs. Is that what y'all want? Yeah, I got one vote that says frog legs. I don't see nothing else. Throw your votes in there. Yeah, throw your... Hit on the accident. Oh, Linda, out of the treasure box? Oh, there is so many in that treasure box. Um, I'll come up with something. But I do like, oh, I'm seeing a lot of. Oh, oh, no, well, we well, ain't Friday doing. Night. That means you got to go tonight. We ain't doing no fried snap, but uh, I can do some. Dorito casserole. Oh, what? Dorito casserole. Like the potato chips? Yeah. The Mexican casserole. That your mama made. Yeah. Hmm. Fried night. I think I'm going to do frog legs, y'all. Think we're going to, real quick before we get off. My best friend, bless her, she left this earth in 02. She had aneurysm. She's my best friend. I called her a Yankee because she was from uh, Pennsylvania. Actually, um, uh, uh, Sun Valley, right? Sun Valley. I don't know why that don't quite sound right, but anyway, uh, about 50 miles um, southwest of uh, Pittsburgh. Well, she's married to military, come down here, and we worked together in the pharmacy. We were pharmaceutical techs and went to school together. And she divorced, become my roommate. Well, I was always playing jokes on her. So she wanted to always learn how to cook. So I said, we got, we went and frog gig and got a mess of frog eggs. So, you know, where that joint comes in, you got two little bitty uh, tendons. And I'm sure y'all know what, and they're, they actually are two of them just like that. Well, you can cut that one, but if you don't cut both of them, that one that's closest into where that meat is, you leave it right there. As soon as that leg hits that oil, that sucker 
springs open. Well, she done cooked a batch. And I said, oh, could she done good? And I said, oh, you're doing good. And I had that one sitting in that second batch. She grabbed that sucker and she went to put them in that oil. And when that leg Don't. said, poop like that, there went the flower, the Hello, rest of the frog legs. That Yankee took off out that house screaming. Y'all, I couldn't do nothing but lay on that floor and laugh. Because that frog, I mean, it was like the perfect size. At 10, and it just, I'm talking about, it just opened up, flew out that pot. I couldn't do nothing but laugh. She never touched another frog. Now, she'd eat them, but she wouldn't touch another one. You I shouldn't have done it to Crystal her. Creek know what? what time they need to show up when the frog legs are going to be cooked there, you know? Uh, six o'clock. Six, six to seven central time. No, I think he's no. talking about what time to show up here to eat. Oh, and my door always open. I always got some they, food they on the try. stove. Crystal Creek wants to know what time to come and eat, baby. Hey, Todd, Jared, both. I just see y'all just come on here. Um, but yeah, how about we do some frog legs? I'm gonna have to call my. I gotta get with my butcher so I can get me some. Cause I sure know I ain't going frog gigging. Not in this heat trying to catch. Cause it ain't time yet. <laughs> get no frogs, but I can get a hold of some frogs. No, I ain't going on no snipe hunt. Oh, yes. Oh, let me tell y'all, I did a uh, halibut day before yesterday. Grandpa went to Alaska, you know, a month ago, and he brought back halibut, uh, king salmon, some pink salmon, um, rock. Uh, oh, what's it called? Anyway, I pulled out a couple of halibut steaks. Well, I did a mayonnaise and uh, lemon base coating so i put them in the oven at 425 degrees for about five minutes because that really like really cooks them and then i pulled them out and i put that mayonnaise and lemon and i had some garlic on there and Hello, parmesan Bob, cheese back, and back smeared it on there and then i broiled it for about five minutes you talk about good that was some good eating i love halibut but that was it was like I was sitting in Alaska and I caught that halibut myself. It was so it fresh. It was mighty good. fine, I'm telling you. It really was good. He went on some kind of Come on, his friend, some kind of vacation. Legs. What? It will be good. All right, so we're going to do frog legs next Friday. Sound good to y'all? Sound good to me. Because mm -hmm. I can just eat frog legs myself. I don't need nothing else to go with it. Really don't need anything. Dozen of frog legs and oh, we I just saw hammer down on it. Oh well, don't you apologize when you can when you now. can visit with your children or your it. family. You got to do it. Tomorrow's not promised. Don't ever apologize for spending time mm -hmm. with family. Uh uh. I know. Uh uh uh. You just don't do that. Yeah, bub. I'm getting a little hungry myself. I got a whole bar full of sweets over there, but. I'm now, like, wait, I did cook. She she cooked, but I, cooked some I wasn't pork really chops hungry when I come in. And some rice. I put it all together. I water fried the pork chops, mixed up some rice with some onions and garlic, and I put a package of some onion soup mix in there and throw them braised pork chops, put a lid on it, put it in the oven for about 40 minutes. Supper was done. Oh, boy, so you ain't never oh, eaten rice. frog legs. What they taste like? Never ate a frog. It tastes like chicken. And I know everybody says everything. No, this literally tastes like chicken. I, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding you. I don't know why everybody says it always tastes like chicken. This actually tastes like chicken. It even looks like, well, it looks like, like a, chicken. it looks like a Cornish hen with long legs. Think of a Cornish hen with some long legs. That's what it looks like. And it's so good. Unless you get one of them whoppers. That we caught two years ago or three years mm -hmm. in the yard. Mm -hmm. I tell, I'm telling y'all what. I'm sitting there drinking my coffee. My granddaughter comes out. She said, she couldn't even talk. She said, and I said, hmm. she said, and I looked over my shoulder. Y'all, that's the biggest bullfrog. I ain't. They held this sucker up about right here. And I'm telling you, the bottom of its pads was on the ground. I ain't, you ever seen a bullfrog that mm -hmm. big? I that, ain't never that's seen That's good it. size, I'm going to tell you. This sucker was on steroids, and he's sitting in my windowsill going, whoop. I just froze. I started laughing. I, I was catching. 
freaking froze because I'm thinking, self, he's like three feet from you. The size of him, if he decides to take a leap, he going to knock your ass. Oh, I'm so sorry. To, he going to knock you out on his way over your head into the middle of the yard. I had to reach and grab I him real quick. It. I was scared to death. He was so big. If he'd ever made a jump, it had been like a, one of my strides, every one of his hops. End up taking him back down. I didn't That's get close enough to find out what the gender was. But it, on my Facebook, I got, well, my personal Facebook, I got pictures of this sucker. You couldn't know. His Work boot box. It would have. It was bigger than the. I ain't never seen no frog look like this. That sucker was that big. I mean, his legs was that big. Probably uh, east of us, about two hundred foot is a uh, flat river. Uh, they call it flat river bio, but it's just. Uh, oh, I can too, Bob. I can eat my weight in frog lungs. legs. And it's full of frog. I mean, I'm talking about full of bullfrogs, but it's also mm -hmm. full of uh, water moccasins, snake, every kind of snake you want. Yeah, like we that. went. Oh, Lord, this man. And, you know, you can see that snake in there. And you, fr whoo, when the snakes would come out, Buddy Nash was done. He said, I'm like through. No I'm through. I don't want to do no more. He was done. He I'll was get it all up in there with alligators or whatever. Else. Do I it. don't like no snake. No. Nope. I go to shoot when the snakes come out. I just juke them too, push them out of the way or shoot them. And then I get my frogs. But he didn't know Peter. Yeah, don't. he's rock farm. That's right. Uh, when the snakes come out, I uh, start you. Yep. Mm hmm. Well, actually, he starts hollering and putting that boat in reverse or forward, and he's gone. Snot. What? <laughs> what that mean? I'm going to be eating soap. You're going to be eating soap, young lady. Why? For, the, for your mouth. I didn't say, oh, I only said a half of a bad word. Yeah. That's because I got excited in my story. But the poop word ain't that bad. Not like some of these people with their language. It's disgusting. Yeah, it does take a lot of frog legs. If you're going to sit down and uh, If you're going to really eat them, yeah. But, I mean, just to do it for y'all, you know, I'll get a dozen and you know, it'll be a good little snack. Like I said, it's a snack for us. But we better get off here because uh, we got less than, I got less than 30 minutes before I got to clean the kitchen up and mod for VW. Because I got a said, mod now, farm. Would your mama say it was half a word? No. Well, <laughs> no. But I imagine my mama probably talked like a sailor. She just talked in French, so you never Nobody knew if it was a bad saying. word or not. I'm telling you, I bet you she... Well, I bet she wore my daddy out and he just say, Send it oh, all away, Willie Parker. I'll take all that rain you can send. Oh, yeah, we need to rain. Chicken lips are pretty good, lips. Bo boy. We're going to have to try some of them. You like chicken lips? No, I ain't eating no, there ain't no such thing as chicken lips. That sure is. I ain't like eating chicken not. feet. <laughs> I ain't eating a chicken's head. Them chicken feet, boy, they make some good, mm, good old bra. Chicken lips. They ain't even no lips on a chicken. It's a beak. What are you talking about? Is that like a slang for something else? Oh, Lord. Is he being, y'all being not nice. Oh, I don't know what that was. But anyway, y'all, this was fun. I hope you liked it. Next Friday, we got frog legs uh, coming y'all's way. Yeah, them woodpecker lips, boy. I'm telling you what, you had to boil them Y'all better, y'all better stop. Y'all gonna make me just, I might put some duct tape because I'm about ready to tell y'all something and I can't be doing all that. This is live TV. This is a children's channel. That's right. That's right. All right, guys. We enjoyed it. It as was fun. always. And uh, glad to have everybody in here. Yeah, y'all know what this means, right? Let's see Ms. Lippy try to figure out how to turn this stupid thing off again. I do it every time. Still don't know what I done last week. Well, I'm going to let you figure it all by yourself. But blessings to all of y'all. Y'all don't know this makes uh this makes this old gal happy when I see this much love and and it's just fun talking. It's just uh it's just incredible. I mean, if I never have another Friday, this Friday was well, another blessed one. You know, and that's the way I see this. Now, holy cow, what I hit.
Nobody's and, helping uh, me speaking either. Speaking of blessings, I'm going to tell you what. Uh, if you're not in church, run on over on uh, Sundays and uh, check out uh, poor Church boy. with Bobo. Oh, let me tell you. You, you, you find a good message there. He makes this Catholic raise her hand, okay? I'm going to tell you something. Uh, every week, every Sunday, I feel like the message is for me. And when you feel like a message is for you, then, you, then you're listening. You're hearing it. That's right. Because to me, if you don't get that message, then something ain't right, you know. But when you can hear that message and you think it's about you, it's supposed to be about you. Because we we'll all have that over. thought. So anybody going to help me bonds. out? See you at nine. Well we, can't, well, we can't go nowhere till you figure out how to turn I, I it off. You, I told you, darling, you're going to have to figure it out. Because I may not. Let me have this little thing here. Uh-oh. Where did that go? What's this? Y'all, I don't and, know. Oh. Well, no, that says add a moderator. Okay, I don't want that. Oh, that's, oh, You're I'm clicking warmer. on their You're names. Getting You're getting warmer? You're What's getting this? Warmer. Uh -huh. Nope, that says uh -huh. manage. Up colder. You're getting colder. You're getting colder. Oh, up, there is cold. no red button on this thing. Oh, you're getting, oh, you're getting warmer, warmer, warmer. Do up. I hit the star where it says uh -huh. studio? No. Uh -huh. You're getting warmer. Oh, nope. Cold. Oh, Lord, that says zoom. Cold. Getting warmer. Oh, hot. What does that mean? It says sign in. You don't want to sign in. You're oh, in. sweet Jesus. You're already in. I mean, you don't yeah, want to I don't want to sign in, but I, what else do I It says addresses and more. Lord, somebody's got to teach me how to close these things. Manage people. No, I need to be managed myself, obviously. Do you know what it is? And you sitting over there smiling like a Chesapeake cat. I'm going to hang everybody up here in a minute. What is that? Password. Payment. Payment method. What the hell? Did they I won't touch? need to pay for something. Oh, Lord. No, I don't want to. Is the, why is the D showing up? Do I go to my name? Oh, no. No, I don't go. Oh. What the hell did I do? Oh, Lord. <laughs> this is not funny, y'all. Well, I think I clicked them off, so now I got to figure out how to get out of here. What's this? Oh, no, that wasn't it. Buddy Nash, what if I go here? Well, there's a red arrow. La -la. Hey, I think I did it. End.